Hi, I'm Dan, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to build Tailwind CSS grids in Elements for Mac OS. I've got a demo project set up here, so I'm going to dive right in. And we're not going to be writing any code today. This is all uh, WYSIWYG based, so you don't need to get your hands dirty or remember all those class names, etc. It's all going to be uh, drag and drop and changing sliders and things like that. So very visual, very easy. So this is an example document I've got. And um, this is like a typical layout you might want to do. So this is just an example here. Um, and we've got another one very similar based off of that, a little bit of animation in it. And this one here is just very simple, is a three uh, column and we've got some animation in there, which is very nice. So um, I've got a new page here. Let's get rid of this and let's get rid of this so I can show you how to set this up. So this is our easy grid layout. And we're going to go over to our components and I'm going to drop on a container. Click the container and I'm going to set the height to screen so that it fills um, our browser window and the background color because this white is a little bit harsh. Uh, let's go with slate and let's set that to a dark color there. Now I'm going to drop on uh, my grid component. And by default, the grid component comes with four grid items. Now up here, I can switch to the node browser and this shows you how things are set up. So you can see I've got my container and then I've got my grid and I've got my grid items, each one of them there. And you can see it highlights in the editor when I select them. Now, um, let me switch this on. You can see there some lines have appeared and this is showing our um, what grid we're, we're basing the layout on. And at the moment I've got it set to 12 columns and, you, and I can change this um, if I wanted to make something simpler and just work with a four column layout, for example. But I'm gonna leave it on 12 and I'll switch off the preview there. Now to um, change the size of these, very simple. Uh, I'm gonna go over the basics first and then we'll get onto a little bit of more advanced stuff and movement and layout. So. I've selected my first grid item and here it's set to take up six columns and I can just change this slider if I want to take it if I want it to take up more room like nine columns and slide it back down and you'll notice everything else flows um, before it and after it that would that would be the same here if I just make this one smaller so it fits up there so now um, I've resized these I've got this is set to three columns this is set to six and this one on the end is also set to three. So that makes up the 12 columns. So that's essentially how we can lay things out with uh, grid items. You know, um, let me just put that back to six and we can put this back to six. So this is great, especially, you know, if you want to lay out um, content, I can drop a heading in there and I can drop a paragraph, boom, like that. And then you can have an image over this side. So it's really flexible to work. Uh, work with grids. So now um, let's look at a slightly more uh, complex example. We also here have the advanced option and this allows us to offset um, grids uh, or grid items. So at the moment it's set to start and end is set to auto and it's set to take up six but really I wanna push this along. I don't want it to start here. I wanna create some empty space. So what I can do, I can tell it to start um, wherever I want. So here it's starting at the fourth uh, column there and I can get it to start in the middle. So we could put it to there and I can change the width of it. Or I can set that to auto and I can just tell it where it should end. So I want it to end at the end line um, on the end of the grid or I can tell it to end there you know and this is a nice way so now um, I've got that one grid item centered at the top and if I want to make it bigger I can tell it to start at four and finish at ten um, so now that's sitting in the middle there so it's really once you understand this stuff it's really easy to use and especially when you can see it visually like this and you're not having to write out the code um, or 
chop and change between an edit mode and a preview mode. Um, it's really nice to work this way. So we could start this one off here. Um, and I could end it there. So we could do a pyramid kind of effect if we wanted to, or I could just, uh, let's just offset that. So I could offset it like this. Um, let me get rid of that one. And then this one, let's do here. So there I could bring that in. So you can get some really, um, really flexible layouts here. You know, you're not, you're not just stuck to, let me go back to here. You're not just stuck to filling the grid here. You can um, push and offset them, which is really cool. Let me go back to my easy grid. Um, yeah, so uh, let me, uh, let's delete that. And uh, let's get on a new grid because we can also do the same for rows so that um, we can get it to take up more space. And that's exactly what we've done here. Uh, this grid item is taking up two rows. So uh, it fills that area. Let's go back to our easy grid layout. So on here we go to rows and instead of being on auto, I set it to two and you can see these other two jump there. Um, which is very cool, you know. Um, you can just play around with these things and uh, where's the columns? Yeah, we could set that to there. And you can very quickly build up a layout. Uh, let me go back to six. So if we want more of these grid items, there's a few ways to do it. I can just uh, copy and paste. So I've got this, let's go here so we can see what's happening. I've got this grid item and I command C, command V, boom, another one, C, V, and I could paste these all day long. Um, one of the nice things here, we can, um, if I hold down Command, I can select multiple items. Uh, let's select four of those. And then I can adjust them all at the same time. So if we wanted to create a row at the bottom like this, that's pretty cool. We'll take these two, uh, make that in there. And then this one could come out to there. You know, it's really, it's so quick to do this stuff, just to play around. Um, yeah, let's bring that one back in. So we've made a very complex grid here in a matter of seconds, really. And then all we'd need to do is just fill it with content. Um, so I could put in uh, a container here and the height we want that to be full because uh, i want it to fill the grid and the background uh, we get a nice little gradient on this background let's do um, some brand color there uh, and that could go to blue let's look for blue a bit of a deeper blue there um, and we can change the position on that and let's drop a heading in. So this is, you know, this is all drag and drop, really, really quick stuff. Uh, just set the color and then I'll just set the, um, yeah, let me, let me increase the size of that there. And the container here, we could get a bit more, um, a bit more space on here. Let me just quickly do this so you can see a bigger grid there. So that's pretty awesome. Um, let me get, and we'll get some rounded corners on this because that always looks nice. Um, we'll use Excel. Boom. Um, and then we could, you know, we could go ahead and style the rest of these background images, uh, stuff like that. Um, I put a little animation on here. So when we hover, hover into the grid item, um, we could just, ooh, we don't want the initial one. Um, on active, let's just scale that up. We could rotate it. So uh, let's view that. Um, yeah, very quick to do. So uh, and let's copy this. I could copy this into here. 
and down there. Um, boom. Super easy to set up. There we are. That's 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 a better. There's that's better. Um, so yeah, it's as easy as that. Let's delete that. That's quite big. These are quite big because they're going off the screen. Um, so yeah, so that is CSS uh, grids. Uh, and the back end of Elements is using Tailwind CSS. So if you're into Tailwind, you can use this to quickly prototype things, build sites, export the pages, and then view the code and use that code in your own projects. Um, yeah, I mean, I've really only scratched the surface in this video of what you can do with some of the alignment options here. Uh, there's so many options in here. I don't want to cover too much in this video because this is kind of just a getting started video. But you know, you can set the alignment of things and the order of your grid items if you wanted them to appear. Uh, you know, if I want this one to appear first, boom, then it's jumped to the beginning here, auto. Um, and I can do that on breakpoints using the built-in breakpoint feature we have. But anyway, that's enough for this video. That is grids. If you've got any questions about grids and how to design something, ask it in the comments below and um, I'll get back to you. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned a little bit more about grids and using grids in elements. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.